Human evolution is equal to the SpongeBob's characters. You have Gary, who represents a newborn child. SpongeBob, who is your good old five-year-old. Plankton, who's like eight-ish. Sandy, a teenager. Squidward, that 40-year-old man. Patrick, in his middle ages. And Mr. Krabs, the old retired millionaire. Where it all started. Steven Hillenberg was a marine biologist who then turned to an animator. His first episode, Spongebob, started a new legacy that, as of now, has gone for 20 years. But what makes this TV show better than everything that came around that time? It's characters. Specifically, Squidward. Remember the human evolution? In the episode Dying for Pie, there's a scene with Spongebob looking out of the Krusty Krab window at Squidward. As a kid, we were all like Spongebob. All we wanted to do was play and go catch some jellyfish. But now, as many of the fans are older, we can apply ourselves to Squidward. That is the link that brings us all together. But what is it that makes Spongebob special to all of us? Well, to really enjoy it, you would have to be a millennial or Generation Z because that is when it came out, 1999 specifically. As millennials, People think they can't decide what they like, right? Spongebob is the one thing that they can all say they like. Need more proof? Just like a pop culture today. So why does the show keep on running? The revenue. On merchandise alone, it made $13 billion, about 5% of Viacom's, the mother company of Nickelodeon's revenue. So that's why it's on the air so much. You can't go more than a couple of minutes on social media without seeing something Spongebob. Spongebob memes are the greatest memes. Think of any situation you could ever be in in life, and there's a Spongebob meme template for that situation. But Spongebob and Mickey Mouse are basically the same, right? No! Both are the starting point of great things. But when you think of a cartoon character, Spongebob is the first that comes to mind. Because Mickey Mouse, he's just been turned into a corporate image. Think about Mickey Mouse, think about Disney, and all the vast Disney empire. Along with that, though, comes the business stuff that you don't really want. When you think of Spongebob, you think of the wild adventures from Goofy to Epic, and that is why Spongebob is better than Mickey Mouse. The Spongebob Legacy. 1999 to 2004, those are the five years of the Spongebob Golden Ages. Most memes you can find in Spongebob come from this Golden Age. The most golden of those Golden Ages was on November 19th, 2004, when the Great one and only Spongebob movie came out. It was pure genius. I say no more. But I, actually, I will. It got a 69% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is basically a 100%. Spongebob Squarepants movie is the greatest cinematic masterpiece of all time. I know what you're saying. What about Endgame? Oh my gosh, Iron Man died and Captain America got Thor's hammer and Thor's fat. But the Spongebob movie yeah, does all those things. Yeah, Iron Man sacrificed himself for the universe, but that took him years to be able to do that. Spongebob, on the other hand, was just a young lad who decided to risk his life for Mr. Krabs and Bikini Bottom. So what, Cap could wield Thor's hammer? Spongebob and Patrick got mustaches and returned to men. And Thor is fat, but Patrick's been fat since 1999, so deal with that. The Spongebob movie follows Spongebob. It's just a wee lad. No one believes in him because he's just a so-called kid. But he believes in himself and decides that he can accomplish anything. Everyone feels like Spongebob sometime in their life. People are always saying that we're not good enough and that we can't do it. But Spongebob teaches us that if we believe and we have a hot mermaid princess with us, that we can do anything. Spongebob went through all the monsters. Spongebob made it into Shell City. He defeated the Cyclops, met David Hasselhoff, defeated Dennis, and then defeated Plankton by showing his full goofy goober potential. The Spongebob movie teaches us that we can accomplish anything, even if no one else believes us. That's with excellent comedy and amazing characters is what makes it the greatest movie of all time. Now we gotta talk about the merch. Look around, there's probably a Spongebob shirt or clothing item somewhere. At school, you see the Spongebob socks, the Patrick Savage face t-shirts. Look up, people's Spongebob themed rooms. People care about this. Sadly, Spongebob did have its dark ages. But luckily, the Dark Ages didn't really exist too far in Spongebob. The only two I can think of, a Fish Out of Water and The Seven Deadly Sins. When Fish Out of Water came out, there, there were some mixed reactions. They didn't do so good. But when I watch it, 
I can still enjoy it because of SpongeBob. On February 6, 2015, SpongeBob Fish Out of Water, the movie, came out. It may not have been as good as the original. There's a reason why. In the Bible, there's the story of Job, a man who was so righteous, God let Satan send everything at him. He got boils, his family died, his farm died, his house got burnt. I think that's it, but lots of bad stuff, you see. Okay, the SpongeBob Fish Out of Water movie. This was God letting something pure, something so amazing, and he let it out and let Satan have everything he could have. Considering that this movie, you know, it was, it was decent. It is a very watchable movie. After all the devil could have done to this movie, that's pretty solid for me. The next is The Seven Deadly Sins. Some time ago, someone thought that the seven main characters of Spongebob represented the seven deadly sins. Spongebob representing lust, Patrick, slothfulness, Gary, gluttony, Squidward, anger and hatred, Plankton, jealousy, Sandy, pride, and Mr. Krabs, greed. Those times are over now. We can celebrate this legacy, like how it was supposed to. Binge watching and wearing all the merch. Let Steven Hillenburg know that the people of this universe love Spongebob. Rip Steven Hillenburg, 2018. Patrick, don't cry.